I'm in my car. I started a lot of vlogs in my car. So, um, this is, there's, there's a light on. Here, stop, stop. There we go. How's everyone doing? The world has been crazy. Um, that's for sure. 2020 has just, <laughs> um, for lack of a better word, um, shitty. That I'm not even gonna try to sugarcoat that in, in any way. Um, it's been a rough year. It's been extremely, extremely rough, um, super hard for everybody. Um, for so many people who have been affected by COVID-19, there have been a lot of tragic passing, whether it was for reasons due to COVID-19 or because of um, other circumstances. It has been just absolutely awful to see the world in this kind of state. And um, it's really, it's just been super, super devastating. The reason why I'm making this video right now is because I wanted to get back to something that I love to do, and that is just making videos or vlogs of myself and my friends to always just kind of like help remember, um, you know, good times, happy moments um, that are caught on camera. And I have not been vlogging. I filmed a few things back in November. I filmed things in January. And again, I never did anything with the footage. A big reason for that is just because editing takes a lot of time. Not that I'm like a super big important YouTuber or anything, but still, I still care about the work that I put into my videos. Um, cause I want to, I want to, you know, I want to watch a good video when I go back to watch my, my vlogs or when my friends are going to watch my vlogs, I want it to be good. Another huge reason, um, why I've been sort of like neglecting on, on the vlogging is because of my personal, my personal, <laughs> English is hard, of my personal issue. I made a video a few months back, basically of me explaining how rough things have been with me in my, in my mental health, how I've been taking the steps to sort of improve those things, how I started going to therapy, how I found out I was diagnosed with OCD, anxiety, and I have intrusive thoughts. Going through that journey um, has been one of the most uh, difficult journeys I think I've ever been on in my entire life. When I posted that video, I was just kind of in my early stages of recovery. So even then, um, I would say it was a lot better than where I was before, but now where I am right now, I feel like I'm even better than from when I posted that video. But there are still times and there are still days where it's just so hard and my OCD and my anxiety just seem like this thing that is going to bring me down and just really ruin my life and and it sucks it sucks it's not fun it's one of the worst things in the in the entire world um and if you don't go through stuff like this people can't quite understand but it literally feels like you can't escape your own mind and it feels like any chance you have you know to be happy or to be in the moment it just feels like you're constantly stuck thinking about what if scenarios or thinking about how you felt previously and how it ruined your day in like just like a second it's so frustrating especially when you are on like such a good track you know you're having like a great couple of weeks and you're doing so so good and then all of a sudden like it just comes out from nowhere um it sucks it, and it feels like you're doing all this work and and it's for nothing some people might be like what's so hard about that like that's like it's nothing no no, it's it's rough. It, it's incredibly rough. And to anyone who has OCD, who suffers through anxiety, intrusive thoughts, you know, all of these things, like, I completely understand the pain and the shame, the guilt, the sadness, the constant feeling of, you know, you're always having to be moving or just you don't want to move at all. I completely understand and I sympathize with you because that is exactly what I go through. And it's scary and it's truly frightening. And I would say the things that really get me through those hard times are when I stop to think about the people that I have in my life and how much that they love me and how much I love them. And without their love and support, I don't know where I'd be. That's super important, you know, to find the people that you can trust, that you can go to, who you know you can talk to about these things and not feel worried or judged. It's hard, it's really, really hard. Still have days where it's, it just feels like it's impossible. And not only that, I've been struggling too with, you know, other things, been also super, super insecure about my, about my looks and my body weight, especially in the last few years when I look back at old pictures and, I thought how 
I thought it was just really, really big and just um, really unfit. I just, I was not happy with who I was a few years ago, but now that I, I'm seeing the pictures, I'm just seeing that I really have not been taking care of myself, been taking care of my body the last few years. And it's not like I'm saying that, you know, it's wrong to be fat. Like, I'm not saying that at all. Everybody is beautiful. Everyone is beautiful. However, when I look at myself in the mirror, I know that I'm not doing all that I can to be the healthiest person. And I want to be more in shape. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that to, to want uh, to feel better in your own skin. So starting out on that journey, I've started... Uh, a new diet. I've been doing kind of like a dirty keto slash keto diet. Um, I've been doing more exercising. I've been doing a lot of a lot of walking because to me that is what worked. Not a big fan of going to the gym and we can't really do that right now anyway because of the pandemic and doing like a Zumba like workout because that is you know it, it's fun. It's like a dancing kind of thing. It's more of my element. So finding things that I'm comfortable with and making it work means a lot to me. And there were so many things this year that were supposed to happen and that I wanted to capture for vlogs. And after the pandemic hit and things were canceled, postponed, I just, m my heart was not in it. I, I was sad. It, it is disappointing. You know, my family's first Hawaii vacation. I mean, come on, like that's something exciting and worthwhile looking forward to. You know, it doesn't matter how old you are or what's going on. It's still devastating to know that, you know, you've been looking forward to something for almost two years and then for it to be postponed. And um, with how things are looking with the virus still, it's hard to tell like when that trip's actually gonna be able to happen. I decided that I wanted to take something back again. And I've said this before in my old video, and the truth is, I just had so much fear going into it, and um, I don't want that feeling anymore. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of feeling like I need to bow down to my anxieties and to my fears of things that haven't even happened. You know, I'm tired of it. I want to be able to make and pursue, you know, whatever I want. And, and it may be different now, but making YouTube videos and vlogging has been one of my favorite things in the entire world. Even though I'm not a famous YouTuber or anything, it's just so much fun. And when I look back at my journey that I started way back in my summer of my junior year of high school, how far I've come from then, and you know, like, how different my life is now. I want to continue documenting that. You know, this was my last year of college. I have one more semester left to go, and it's rough, but I want to be able to remember the best parts of it. Just because things are hard doesn't mean that there aren't good things in there. And there have been so many good things, um, even if we can't quite see them. I will say that I have grown really close with a lot of friends in new ways that I never thought was possible. I still talk to my friends all the time. Whenever it's safe, we can get together. That, that's what matters right now. Um, you know, tomorrow is not promised. So it's very important to live the life that you want to live and be present. I decided that I'm going to, I want to make new vlogs. And before I can do that though, I want to get some of my old vlogs uploaded and posted because they truly were some great memories. Some of my last great memories of the year before the pandemic and the shutdown and the quarantines really began. So I wanted to get those edited and posted. I'm going to start by posting um, my San Francisco trip that I took back in January with Sheridan and Madison. Um, it was one of my, it was such a fun trip. Um, we went to go see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And I don't like that I kind of like was ignoring, you know, those memories. I want to be able to put them out there. So uh, it's going to be part of like on my channel. Not that a lot of people are going to care, but my um, Before the World Changed series. Um, so it's going to be those San Francisco vlogs. I have a couple Disneyland vlogs that I took. That's it. I just wanted to make a quick video, like a quick a quick, a quick update video of everything that's going on in the world and just like kind of like for me to address because I like to go back and watch these videos and see where I am. I'm still struggling. I am. But um, I'm doing a lot better. And you know, it's proof that anyone, you know, can do better. Because I really thought that there was no hope for me. And the fact that I'm, I'm sitting here in this position happier than I have been in a long time is really, really incredible. I love you all so much. Um, if you stayed to the end of this video, I appreciate you. If not, I completely understand. You have other better things to do. This is more for, this is more for future Jacob when he wants to come back and, and see like where his life was at at this point in time. Cause it's currently July 25th, 2020. 
that's when this was taped and I have vlogs from 2019 that I still want to put up on my channel so I'm gonna go on and do that before I start taping new vlogs so hopefully starting like in August I can start to film new things so I can put them on my channel just because I want to make new memories so anyway thank you guys so much I hope you guys are all staying safe please try to stay safe wear a mask social distance I know it's not the most convenient thing but please just try to take care of yourself and your family members if you don't want to do it for yourself do it for other people you know it's not hard it's not hard to take care of others by just doing your part. Hope you have a, you know, a great rest of, you know, whatever. Great rest of whatever until things start to get better. All right. Bye.